you're going to see my current blog post and then you see these different links now all of these happen to be external links but if you come down here to the bottom you can do internal links and those internal links are where the magic happens in something like obsidian and that's where you can get to this idea of linking of making those relationship choices between what you want to tie together and what you don't okay so for example here's a really good one so ila last year i put in a conference that i attended i put in the attendees all of this is public record so it's all on the conference websites and i tied it to different things so i tied it to me i tied it to the other presenters and then whenever i go to look at this like for example if i want to type in my own contact information here you'll see all of the other things that I am connected to. So you see that I'm connected to different committees. I'm, you know, my phone number is missing here, but my email address, other departments I'm connected to, all of that. I could put meetings down here and tie those in. Uh, I don't want to show too much, obviously, because this is, you know, work stuff. But the idea being that all of that then becomes interconnected. Um, Sheen says, I'm right there. I think it's one of the major differences between just having notes and having a second brain linking those connections. 